Hi everyone, Donut here. We haven't done a shooting in a little bit, mostly just punching women in the face. But now, let's go over one nutty shooting. Hey Jeeves. Hello, hello. Let's say someone attacks you or a family member and you rightfully shoot them in self-defense. Sad to say, there's a chance you're gonna be arrested and drugged through criminal and civil court. The USCCA is basically justifiably shooting people insurance and it only costs a couple bucks a month depending on what package you choose. They provide a 24 seven team of attorneys upfront bail bond funding so you don't have to sit in jail up to two million dollars to cover your ass in civil court and tons of other benefits like self-defense training go to uscca.com donut or click on the link in the description below oklahoma city august 22nd 2022 at approximately 1 18 p.m oklahoma city police got a call that shots were being fired in a residential neighborhood it turns out the shots were being fired between Oklahoma County Sheriff's deputies and our 35-year-old suspect. The suspect had just gotten into a gunfight with two sheriff's deputies and killed one of them. They were there serving an eviction notice, so instead of just acting like a man and getting out of the house that you're not paying for, he decided to shoot one of them. The other one tried to drag that deputy to cover. He was shot also. This is about one of the hairiest calls that another officer could respond to, that being a double zero or officer down call. That means this dude means business. After the shootout with deputies, neighbors said the suspect put a bunch of guns in his truck and took off. Police called up with him later down the road after he fled the scene towing a boat. Sovereign citizens everywhere can rejoice knowing that police are actually now road pirates. You're not going in, sir. Let the record show that you just battered me. Step back. And you're using... Of course, he didn't want to stop after shooting two cops and a high-speed chase took place. I gotta say, in the thousands of videos that I've watched involving police officers and car chases on this channel, I've never seen anyone try to pit a boat. The pit didn't work, so the guy continued driving with about a million police behind him. Shortly after getting on the interstate, the guy started shooting at police while traveling at a high rate of speed. Hey, Luke, good. Let me slide around you. I got a rifle. Hey, who's our front of the TV operator? Get off the radio. Shots fired. He's shooting out of his window. Everybody back off and cover that front car. Let's give him a chance. His first couple shots actually struck a police car, narrowly missing the officer who was inside. The dude continued shooting at police, so Officer Boxwell, who was in the direction that the suspect was heading, found a nice little place on the interstate with a concrete backdrop. Because remember kids, that's one of the firearm safety rules. Know what is beyond your target also in case of overpenetration. As soon as the suspect gets close, Officer Boxwell lets out a burst from his AR, unfortunately not striking the suspect or disabling the vehicle. The chase continues. If only we could have gotten that one shot through the suspect block. The sergeant who tried to pit the boat earlier is still following pretty close behind the suspect. He's the closest officer, so he pulls out his rifle just in case the suspect starts shooting at him. Sergeant Patton hears over the radio that the suspect is continuing to fire at police, so he shoots through his own windshield a couple times in an attempt to stop this dirtbag. <laughs> Remember, we discussed this in a video recently, police officers or anyone shooting through their own windshield. It's a viable tactic as explained by both Kyle Lamb and Tactical Rifleman in separate videos. You just gotta be careful cause that glass blows back into your eyes, down your shirt, and if you remain in your vehicle, you're breathing it in. So save that little trick for a last resort. Our suspect continues for a couple of more miles until he reaches the front gates of Tinker Air Force Base. So you know in Grand Theft Auto when you break into the military base and you instantly get five stars and the entire United States military comes after you? It's like that in real life too. You don't want to breach those gates. Oh, you know what? Story time. I'm sure the people who always leave the comments saying, Donut, you talk too much, are gonna love story time. Stupid sons of bitches. It's my channel. Just go find the raw police footage, okay? I was a gate guard like what he's trying to run right here for a year on Norfolk Naval Base. And there's a button that sits at the gate. When you hit the button, a little wall pops up it's hydraulically driven so it just pops up and it'll stop a semi truck in its tracks i always wanted to hit the button and the one time that we were able to hit the button while i was on post i was taking a poop and this lady just on her cell phone drives right through the gate and he got to hit the button on her but it's okay i think she was one of those idiot officer wives that wanted us to salute her too her car was totaled, but meh, no worries. So back to our suspect. Not only does he pull up to the base with 20 cops following him running cherries and berries, he pulls up while holding a rifle out of the window. 
He drops the rifle, then takes off running towards the gate. The MPs are standing there like what the fuck is happening as the civilian police and sheriff's deputies tackle, tase, and beat the ever-living fuck out of the suspect. Hey, 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 hey. Stop! Bro, stop! Stop! Put your hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. I can't. Get on your stomach. Oh, bro, get on your oh, stomach. Get on your ah. stomach. Oh, shit. It was very much deserved though. Please send your thoughts and prayers over to the friends and families of the deputy killed while just trying to serve an eviction notice in this incident. That would be Sergeant Bobby Schwartz. He was a teddy bear. He was genuine. He was a hero, full of integrity, you know, and uh, the worst dad jokes ever. <laughs> Well, that's all I have for you fine people today. If you want to help support the channel, you can go to DonutOperator.com, get some super sweet merch, or subscribe to my vlog channel. I've been uploading to there quite a bit. It's pretty rad. Tomorrow, I'm going to be heading to the Everglades to hunt iguana, so that'll be some fun vlogs. Until next time, everyone, please have a fantastic day. Ah.